this in the budget, right? I think it's it's kind of taken the life onto itself here, mm -hmm. uh, and it really shouldn't. You know, six months ago, I, I, I came before the retirees, and I said then, as I will say now, you know, that, uh, uh, that the inevitability of this whole issue probably tends to look to a modification of the plan in some form. Okay, I mean, that's just the reality. You know, you, you look at the you look at the change in the population and the number of retirees that are going to be bumping into the system here uh, in the next couple of years. It, it's huge uh, uh, compared to the impact that the you know that the uh, unfunded liability issue and limitations placed on that because of the restrictions placed on the benefit for post 1998 uh, workers into the system will have. Uh, that information too has not yet been shared. Um, and I said, I said six months ago that I wasn't prepared to do anything until I had the data. I didn't have the data then. I don't have the data now. And until we have the data, and until that data is proved to all of us to be good data, I'm not prepared to recommend anything. Uh, and we shouldn't recommend anything, even if it's a stopgap issue here. And that's unfair to the retirees. And I'm not, I'm not prepared to support it. You know, so uh, I think in all good conscience here, we, we shouldn't attempt to change anything until we have the information. And that's why I'm, I'm like, I'll, I'll say again, we need to pressure somebody or we need to take responsibility and do the thing ourselves to get the data that we need. So, uh, so I'd like to, as one board member, attempt not to make any changes, any drastic changes here that are made in a vacuum that doesn't at least involve the participation in some form, the act of participation in my mind, from a group of people that could actually make a, some good recommendations uh, about what our future uh, retiree plan structure looks like. So, I'll shut up. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yes. I, before you think I threw you under the bus, <laughs> I know I've been working with this for a long time. I know what the costs are doing. I know how desperate the situation has become, and I know how long it's taken to even get to this point. I don't want to see, and Tim and I have discussed it, in fact, I, I was going along with it until I suddenly realized in two years I'll be retired. I don't want to see us go back to the employee benefits, if at all possible, if it's not totally cost productive for the system. Because that's going to mean a $500 deductible. It's going to mean a lot more out of pocket. And it's going to mean that you're going to pay the same thing the employees are, which is about $200 a month. That would be a lot bigger uh, worm to swallow than $100 a month to get the ball rolling. That was why I brought the suggestion to the table. Right. It's up to this board. I don't vote. I'm just saying I know we can't keep putting band-aids on this situation. Right. It's at 200 a month. Right. That's about right. what I'm paying. I just figured mine out just for myself. For yourself, it's 200 a month. With a $500 mm -hmm. deductible. Oh. Yeah. You know, so I don't want right. the retirees, Don, like you, <coughs> to have to pay 200 a month and a $500 deductible if there's a way to stop gap the measure and hold it off until some final decisions can be made. That's it. One of the reasons that I think that I, at least I started looking at the idea of charging, you know, throwing people back into the same coverage they have as an, an employee is. It goes back to what we did in 1998, which said no employees who start working after that point in time are going to have health insurance when they retire. The, one of the reasons for that was to encourage people to work longer. And the closer you are to 65 and receiving Medicare, the less, less you're going to cost the system. Uh, I think what's happened here in a lot of cases with retirees and with people who are looking to retire here is they don't realize what a benefit this system is giving to the retirees by paying full cost of your health insurance. Uh, Tim Pierce just included um, some information on a lawsuit in Santa Barbara County. And I know a lot of counties work their system this way. Santa Barbara County gives their retirees $15 a month for every year of service they have in the county. 
So if you had 20 years of service, you could get $300. If you had 10 years, $150 towards your health insurance, and you would have paid the rest. If you had, I don't know how many years you had, but 35 or all in all, you had your total 40 years. 40, you would probably get, you would get the full benefit if you were in Santa Barbara County, but you're one of the, the rare ones that have worked longer than, uh, and has enough time to get full coverage for the health insurance. And our retirees who retire with 10 years and get a $500 plus a, a month benefit don't, I think, realize how much they're getting. And so they never had to go out and buy it on the street. And, or if they had on 510, is, we have people like Don that keeps the cost down. And myself, I don't use a health insurance. I work 22 years. But you can get $300 years. a month here. You'd be coming up with 200 and some dollars to pay for your health insurance if you were in Santa Barbara. Um, so we, I think the retirees need to realize that, that we have been giving a benefit. We've always called it the Cadillac. Um, right. Our benefit well, is... is Jim, and the, the other thing that a lot of people, and, 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 and don't be just derogatorily, because you may not be here when it happens, but the pool is going to get smaller with all the people that were hired after 98. So the cost is going to go up. Older, you're, you, get older. you get older, that cost is going to go up just because the pool's getting smaller. And that, that's an inevitability. That's going to happen. The pool, the pool of people putting money in to the retirement system is going to get really small because they don't get a benefit when they retire. Uh -huh. You're starting to you see what I'm family. saying? Oh, they don't get. Now, that, I don't know how many health insurance. They don't they get, get health insurance. But they get retirement. Benefits. They get retirement. But they don't get health insurance when they retire. I so that pool of people that are going to be retiring, the people that are retired, getting that benefit, is going to cost more than if we had people coming from '98 still going into the system because you have more people putting into the into the retirement amount. So you're saying that my retirement that I'm getting now is going to pay for my health insurance, and so I'm not going to have anything to live on. Well, it depends <laughs> on how long it's... It depends... No, no. You're still going to have the benefit... I'm less than $800 a month on retirement. No, no. I'm not saying it's going to cost you, but it's going to cost the system a lot more than four, four, $510, yeah, $600, $700 a month. It's just conceptually, I can't, I can't. But it's, it's just an. I'd like to, there's, there's all of a sudden, you, I'd like to be able. But to all of a sudden, you had ten thousand people in your ins insurance pool. Now you have a thousand people in your insurance pool, mm -hmm. and you still have the same. You know, you don't have as many uh, claims possibly, but you're still going to have the claims. They're still going to be there. So you don't have as much money put people putting money into the pool. Same so argument with Social Security. It gets smaller. Same, same argument with Social Security is that you've been paying in all your life for Social Security, but now there's not enough to pay for what you put in. And so the, what we're really saying is it doesn't make any difference how much you contributed on the way up is what you're going to have to do from now on. But in Social Security, when it started, how many people did it take to support one? That's what I'm saying, though. One, one, one person on Social if Security. If you were in Social Security, you paid all many. the time up until uh, you were eligible for it. 62 or... But, but yes. when you were working, you didn't pay a dime towards health insurance. No employee ever has. Right. It has never been a benefit that has been paid for by the... Oh, that's not right, Kelly. I worked at Sonoma County for 10 years. I don't know uh, what you did at Sonoma County, County, but you never paid Street. anything towards health insurance while you were working at... Towards retirees' health insurance while you were working for the county. There was no deduction, no part no. of...